All right, I wanted to show something here that I found with the sport kit, um, side skirts. Pardon kind of the dark room. I've got these on a bed right now in my spare bedroom just because it's the only place right now I have room to kind of lay it out without scratching things. So I do have a side skirt. This is actually the passenger side that is, as you can tell, bigger than the other side skirt. This one is the sport kit. This one is the stock S60R side skirt. You can see the difference between the two. Bigger, smaller, badass and cool. Still looks pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> but something I found when I just mounted one and I wanted to slow down on the side and then actually document it because I didn't find any posts about this or any videos about this and it kind of threw me for a loop and paused for a little bit and I was like, you know what, I'm a little concerned on this but it ended up coming together when I put it together. So I'll show mounting this skirt, but uh, just wanted to start with this. So first of all, I was not very impressed with how flimsy the sport kit is compared to the stock kit. I mean, this actually feels like you know a rocker solid. This has got a lot of flex to it, which you want flex to it if you're going to be lower to the ground so you don't run anything over. I totally get that. It can flex underneath the car because it's hanging lower. Maybe that's why. But the thing that kind of really upset me was if you look on the back, so when you take off the side skirt, underneath you have a bunch of little push pins that are on the bottom of the drip rail. You got to go remove those. Then you have rivets, two in the front that you got to drill out, and there's three in the back that you have to drill out. The side skirt can then kind of peel. You got to lift it up and pull because you have these push pins that are inside. So if you open up the doors and the sills, it actually separates from there and these pins hold it on. And if you look every, I don't know, 10 inches or so, you have a nice mounting place. I'm missing some of the clips because they obviously break, but you have a nice mounting, 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 all the way down. On the sport kit, this car was actually a flood car, so I do need to clean this up a little bit. You only have two spots, way at the front, I'm sorry, this is the back one. And then you got another one all the way up here on the front. It's missing all the middle ones. There is one little post, but it doesn't actually clip into anything. It just kind of sits in the hole. It doesn't actually hold any force, but that's it. So my car was a 05 S60R. This came off of an 07. Did it change that much? Or is this just how sport kits are? I wish there was more clipping points. So what I did, clean this up nice on the other one, clean the door sills really nice, and just threw a little bit of double-sided tape. When you take the new clips, I'll put the link in the description. I got these real cheap off of Amazon. You'll notice, ah, if it'll focus, I'm sorry. It's kind of like a triangle. You have to get these the right direction. So when you're sliding this in here, and I'll show it when we're in the car, you can't just go any old way if I go you know, that way or this way, there's a certain direction when you go to actually put it in the car that matters so it actually holds it in. Otherwise, it just slips back out of the hole. I really just wanted to show the crappy mountain locations. Oh, and then the other part, frustrating. So in the front, when you take off the skirt, you got these nice two pins on the very top that go kind of into the fender. And then same in the rear, this clips up nice into the body line with a clip. Factory skirt. Where the hell is it, Volvo? They literally don't have the same clips on the sport kit. So the only thing holding this to the car are the rivets that you put in that are actually holding onto the fender? The fender, sorry, the fender liner. This is going to the liner. So I got these used. Am I missing a metal bracket or something that secures this more? Because I don't like how this only connects to the fender liner on the front and the rear via rivets pins to the bottom of the car by a couple plastic push pins and then clips on on two spots on the top to hold it. It actually sturdies up and tightens pretty good, but there's some flex to it. It just seems like they cheaped out a little bit on these, but sometimes looks are worth it. So I'm going to put these on anyway. I love how the sport kit looks and I'm so super stoked that I got a sport kit that I don't even need to paint. It's my same 
same color, same paint code. This one was painted at one point, but that is the same color. I can mount it now. All right, here we are with the wheels off, getting ready to pull the stock S60R side skirt non-sport kit. Um, got the wheels off, definitely helps to have it off so you get the rivets. On the very front of the car, you have a rivet here and down here that needs to be drilled out. All that's holding this together is basically that rivet that's compressed between the side skirt and the fender uh, cover here. So you don't want to just pull on this because you're actually going to pull out of the um, fiberglass because it's just not strong enough. So you definitely want to drill that. It'll pop right off. One, two, and then on the back, there are three. You have one, two, three. Once you have those drilled out, you come underneath the car. Underneath the car, I've already popped two of these off. You're gonna have some plastic clips. Just follow these holes all the way down. Here's one I have not taken off yet. You're gonna wanna pop each of those clips off all the way down the drip row. After that is done, you can open up the doors, grab it, lift it up. Now I'll just show you just how to drill a rivet just in case you weren't sure how to do it. Grab your drill, line it up in the hole. Drill. The drill will go through. You're just pushing through the center of the rivet there. You can come back out. And now the two pieces should separate nice and easy without breaking your fiberglass. Now the cover can just pull straight back. All right, now here's the point I was talking about earlier where this is an 05 S60R and I'm putting on a sport kit that I took from a 2007 S60R. I don't know if they're all like this. This is the first kit that I've seen and put on personally, so I'm not sure. Would be very curious to hear if anybody has put on sport kits, if they've seen the same thing. But I removed the three rivets. We are at the rear passenger door. I have, there's a body clip here that is missing from the sport clip. That is just strange. It's not even, it doesn't even look like it broke off. It's just completely gone. Same with the front fender, right in the corner, it clips in nice here. The sport kit doesn't have that. Okay, I got the doors open up. I have everything lifted up. You can see multiple clip spots. But here, ah, gotta get the light moved. Here is the spot that I'm curious about, knowing is there a bracket missing on my kit. Look when I pull this off, there's that nice factory clip. It was right into there on the sport, and that's built in to the kit. On the sport kit, it doesn't have that. It literally just rivets on, and then one clip will go right in here and it clips it right in. All right, here we are at the front of the car. Just slipped the factory side skirt off, and you'll see again, nice two spots. The new sport kit will not use that. Sport kit will just use the two rivets here and then the clips on the bottom. So it's time to put it on. If you would like, um, clean up the door sills really well. You can see all the factory clipping points. You will only be using one of those to hold it on between the front door and one between the rear door. I don't think it's very necessary, but if you'd like to secure the spork kit on there a little bit more, all you need to do is clean this up real well. A couple pieces of double-sided tape slap everything up and it's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up nice. I'm probably gonna use the double-sided tape like I did on the other side. I will seal it up and that's it. That's how the sport kit goes on. So now I got the bumper on, I got the other side done. I'm gonna finish this up, give her a good wash and we'll get some photos. See you guys. Well, here it is. Got that sport kit rinsed up. Car's looking pretty good, I do like it.